Good afternoon, Rudy Collin here with TechOut, and today I want to talk about the first week of my Steam Deck ownership and a kind of first week review and all the mods I've done to it and some of the accessories that I got um, for it, um, and some of the must-haves. Um, so first things first is, first thing out of the box I did on my Steam Deck was I upgraded the SSD and I installed Windows 11 um, instead of SteamOS. When I purchased my Steam Deck, I did purchase the uh, 256 gigabyte model with the intention of not upgrading it at the current time. Um, and probably getting a one terabyte SSD down the road. And then um, while I was waiting on it to be delivered, I was watching videos and stuff like that. And I decided that it probably would be a better idea to have a 512. Um, and I also decided I wanted to run Windows and do some uh, games that were not on Steam, um, such as Call of Duty, which due to the anti-cheats don't run on Steam um, or don't run on Steam OS at all. Um, so I decided I would probably be better off to order a 512 gigabyte drive and that that would probably be plenty of storage um, for the time being. So I did that, I upgraded that, and I installed Windows 11 uh, first day before I even turned it on. And then um, after that, I went ahead and I put this uh, JSOX backplate on here, or JSOW backplate, however you want to say it. Um, I love this backplate. I'm a big fan of the iMac G3s from back in the early 2000s. Um, that's what I grew up with when I was in school. That's what we used at school. Um, and we always had like the blue ones or the uh, the Bondi blue or like the, the teal ones. Um, and we had a couple that were like the strawberry red. Um, and that was one of my favorite iMac G3 colors. And this is exactly what um, this backplate reminds me of. Actually, all the backplates kind of look like iMac colors to me just because of how the translucent colors are. Um, the blue kind of looks like the iMac as well, um, which I think is very cool. But... One of my favorite colors is red, and one of my favorite iMac G3 colors was the strawberry, which, like I said, that's what this reminds me of, so I went ahead and went with that one. I did put the custom bumpers on here, uh, or the custom uh, buttons on here. Um, they have different sizes. You can do the stock ones, or they have, this is like the medium one. Um, they have some that are a little bit taller than this. It just makes it easier to uh, get to with your fingers when you are holding it, rather than having to have your fingers like flat up against the back. Um, just easier, in my opinion. The back plate also has an aluminum heat sink right here with a thermal pad on the other side. Um, so that helps with cooling a lot. Only thing is this gets very hot when you're playing some intensive games. Um, so like putting your hand right here for, you know, like three seconds, it, it, it's pretty hot and it's not, it's unbearable. It's pretty uncomfortable to put your hand here. Um, but you hold, you know, here and here. So you're not really uh, resting anything here when you're using it. So as long as you don't accidentally touch it, that's perfectly fine. Um, the rest of the plastic stays perfectly cool um, and you don't really feel anything out here on the grips. So not a big issue at all. Um, I did also get a keyboard for it, which I'll show a close-up of. Um, just a little $20 Bluetooth mini keyboard with a little trackpad on it. Um, works great for when you're navigating uh, Windows or if you need to set something up and you need a keyboard. Um, makes it a lot easier than having to type on the on-screen keyboard just because uh, you can't really, it's hard, it's hard to use the on-screen keyboard when you're holding it. Um, just because you can't get your fingers to the screen, obviously. So unless you sit it down and you can type pretty fast like that, um, the on-screen keyboard is kind of hard. Definitely doable for just, you know, here and there. Um, but I have a couple games where I have actual keyboard buttons mapped into the game uh, when I play on my PC. So being able to still use those same buttons and not have to change anything up for just controller inputs is a lot better, in my opinion. Um, these buttons on Windows can be remapped using Steam Deck tools for basically any keyboard button you want. But there's only four of them and it's not per game mapping, it is just uh, in Steam Deck tools and that stays across all your games. Um, so you either have to uh, remember those across all the different games or you have to um, use just your basic uh, inputs there. And I have this set up to uh, run as an Xbox 360 controller in my games using Steam Deck tools. So that is mapped like that, which is fine because I use an Xbox controller on my PC as well. So that is um, that. Steam Deck has been performing great. I love it. Um, I'm about to go on a 12 hour road trip in about a month. Um, so I'm very excited to take this with me and see how it performs. I do have a portable monitor that I got for it that I have not reviewed yet. Um, there will be a video coming up on that on the channel here shortly. Um, I'm going to check that out and show you guys that. I've been using it um, since I got it. I got, the same, got it the same day as I got the Steam Deck. Um, and it works very well because it charges the Steam Deck if the monitor is plugged into power or you can power the monitor from the Steam Deck. Obviously with the Steam Deck's battery life, 
eh, it's going to cut it down quite a bit. The monitor uses about, uses about 4 watts, um, so it doesn't take too much out of the Steam Deck, but with the Steam Deck's already not so good battery life on those intensive games, you're obviously going to want all the power you can get. But that is my Steam Deck one week later. Um, that's all I've done to it. Um, so very, very excited to uh, you know try this out in the long term and play around with it. Um, I love the fact that it's customizable, and I love the fact that you can open it up and tinker with it. That's one of the big selling points for me is the uh, ability to repair it yourself. Um, so like I said, one week with the Steam Deck. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.